correction at 2120 KST. The final decision not to gift the smartphones was made by the organizing committee for the Pyeongchang Olympic and Paralympic Games POCOG, not the Ministry of Unification MOU. The article has been amended to reflect that fact. North Korean athletes involved in the upcoming Winter Olympics will not receive a free Samsung Galaxy Note 8 for their participation, sources with knowledge of the issue told NK News on Monday. Samsung Electronics, which is sponsoring the Games, has agreed to gift around 4,000 new smartphones to all athletes participating in Pyeongchang, as well as to International Olympic Committee officials. Samsung will hand about 4,000 Galaxy Note 8 smartphones to the International Olympic Committee IOC, a Samsung spokesperson, told NK News. Then, the IOC will distribute it to the athletes and the Olympic officials. The DPRK Olympic team reportedly consists of 46 members, 22 of which are athletes. Samsung plans to gift the Galaxy Note 8 to all athletes involved in the Games. Photo, Samsung The two Koreas have also formed a joint national female hockey team. The DPRK women's ice hockey team, composed of one director, 12 athletes, and two assistants, has been dispatched to the South in advance and the athletes are currently conducting joint training with their rock counterparts. United Nations Security Council UNSC Resolution 2397, unanimously adopted on December 22, prohibits imports of electronics, vehicles, machinery, and metals into North Korea. South Korea has repeatedly insisted that North Korea's participation in the upcoming Pyeongchang Winter Olympics, which begins on February 9, does not breach international sanctions against the country. Monday saw the MOU announce that South Korea will use a chartered plane to fly its skiers to plan joint training at North Korea's Mashik Ryong Ski Resort and not pay the DPRK for the use of Kalmar Airport. But questions remain over an inter-Korean cultural event to be held at the DPRK's Mount Kum Gang this week, with logistics requiring Seoul to bring refined petroleum into the north to meet required fuel needs, a potential sanctions breach. The two Koreas are in the final stage of discussing details over the events, MOU spokesperson Baek Taehyun told media on Monday. We don't have much time, given schedules. We will pump up efforts to hold such events smoothly through cooperating with other government agencies. Edited by Oliver Hutham Featured Image, Korean Sport Olympic Committee.